Well, the golf season is kind of coming to an end here on the west coast of Canada. The rain is starting to pour. In fact, I actually couldn't even film this video for the first half of this day because the rain was coming down so hard, the audio would have been useless. Now that leaves an opportunity here for the fall and winter to hit the gym. In the past few weeks have been a little rough for me. I've done a lot. Now the past few weeks have been pretty rough for me. As you can see here, this is what my everyday looks like. I haven't been playing much golf. I haven't been posting much content. I haven't been really doing much of anything at all really, but that time has come to an end. I'm going to dedicate this winter to getting as athletic and strong as I possibly can. Because for this upcoming golf season, I want to be smoking the golf ball, piping it, especially off the tee. That is my main goal here. I want to average 320 yard drives. I want to do all this shit, okay? So what I've done is I've found a strength and conditioning coach who works specifically with rotational athletes, golfers. Now, this training program that I'm about to start is going to be about three months for the block. I might continue it after. We'll see how it goes. And throughout this three month process, as I learn, I'm going to share the knowledge that I've gained with all of you. I know that people really want to be able to hit the ball far. It's a, it's, it's a big thing in golf right now with all these, these big, big hitting people. But what I'm not going to do is design a program and sell it. I don't care to do that. I'd rather just share everything with anybody who's interested. I tried to look up some golf strength and conditioning stuff on YouTube. There's really nothing there that's A, entertaining, to valuable. Now, what I'm thinking is with the combined knowledge of Jason, who is a professional strength and conditioning coach, and myself, we can team up and create stuff for you guys to watch and actually learn from. Now, it is going to be strength and conditioning focused stuff. I'm not a swing coach, nor do I have nearly close to the amount of knowledge required to share any type of swing tips and tricks. But what we can do is provide you with valuable information and knowledge <coughs> that you can use on your own in the gym or with a coach to get stronger, faster, more athletic, hit the ball farther. So yeah, I mean, you get it, that's what's coming. But in this video here, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take you to the gym. I'm gonna talk to Jason a little bit about the program and how it works, and then show you kind of a demo workout, right? This is just gonna be a fast cut edited version of that workout. I just kinda wanna give you guys a feel for what it's like to do a program like this. Going forward, the type of content that will be coming out will be a lot more educational. I'm going to do a lot of talking and explaining around specific exercises like a squat or deadlift and things like that and explain how that will translate to more club head speed because really that's what it comes down to in order for the ball to go farther the club has to move faster in order for the club to move faster your body has to move faster now it has to move efficiently and that's where swing mechanics come into play I'm not going to teach you that shit go learn that on your own but if you have the if you have the basics down I really think that the content and the information that I'm going to be providing through this channel will help you a ton. So without further ado, I'm going to get my ass off the couch here. I'm going to get myself to the gym, start working out, and just share the process with you. So if you're interested in hitting the ball farther, hit that subscribe button. All right. I'm going to be posting as often as I possibly can. Weekly, pretty sure. I'm going to aim for weekly. If you subscribe, you'll get this content when it comes out. You'll be able to watch it. I mean, I don't know where you're from, viewer over there, but a lot of us have what's called winter. Now, if you live in California or something like that, you probably never heard of winter. But to all of us who do experience the down season of golf where the weather just kind of sucks and you can only make it out every once in a while, now's the time to get fit. And besides golf, you should be fit anyways. You should exercise. It's good for you, good for your brain, it's good for your body. 
you just need to do it anyways. So hey, why not focus your workouts around golf so that when summer comes back around, you're ready to smash the ball and impress all your friends and the cart girl. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Go check out this video. Get a feel for what my program is gonna look like and feel like. Um, and yeah, stay tuned because in the next video, it will probably be a specific exercise breakdown and why it's good for golfers. What's up guys, my name is Joe and I'm here at United Barbell Club in Richmond, British Columbia. Now this is a gym designed for all ranges of athletes from your average person who's just trying to get a little bit more fit to your high level athlete who's pursuing an Olympic medal. Now I've come here because as a golfer, I wanna become more athletic and hit the ball farther. Simple as that. So I've come to my friend Jason, who is a coach here at United Barbell. Jason, just tell me a little bit about yourself. So I'm a strength and conditioning coach that specializes in rotational power athletes. So that ranges anywhere from baseball players to golfers to just any kind of throwers. Yeah, well that's perfect because golf is a rotational sport. Yes. You know, in today's day and age, I think any golfer understands the value mm -hmm. in strength and distance when it comes to hitting the ball. If we look at golfers like Rory, DJ, Bryson, Brooksy, these guys are smashing the ball off the tee and it's very clear the advantage they're getting from their distance. And if you look at them, they're extremely athletic individuals. For sure. So I think anybody who's trying to take their golf to the next level understands the value in something like strength and conditioning. But I guess a big question, Jason, is, well, why would an athlete actually come and see a coach for this rather than just doing it on their own in the gym? Well, most golf athletes actually lack the approach and direction into golf strength and conditioning. So with a strength coach, we actually provide some sort of direction and instruction into the program, as well as administering the right doses to make mm -hmm. adaptations without being too invasive so that their fatigue doesn't actually carry over into their practice or their games. Right, I mean, that makes sense. A golfer's intention is to play well. And if their strength and conditioning or their gym workouts are going to hurt their golf game, then there's no point of even doing it in the first yeah. place. And seeing a coach, seeing a strength and conditioning coach is no different than seeing a swing coach. This is an expert who knows everything in their field. And as the athlete, your job is just to perform. So, I mean, I, I think anybody can see the value in that. So tell me a little bit about the program and kind of what it's all about. So the idea behind the program is to maximize a golf athlete's uh, power output to increase their club head speed. Now we also do take into consideration of injury mitigation by improving maximal strength or just strength in general and ensuring their longevity in the game. Yeah, an, an athlete has to be safe, right? They, when they go out and play, they have to be at peak maximum performance. They can't be injured from their gym workout, otherwise it's, you know, what's the point, right? That's awesome that you focus on that. I think that's one of your better qualities as a coach and that's why I've come to you because I know that you're gonna value my athleticism just as mm -hmm. much as my safety when it comes to golf. For sure. Well, Jason, that's perfect. So why don't we actually dive into the details of the program itself so that you can just kind of explain to me the layout, how it's gonna work, just so I have an idea of what it entails. For sure. Cool. All right, Jason, let's take a look at the program. I'm super curious. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm seeing, we have three blocks. What's going on with that? So. This is a 12 week program and each block consists of four weeks. Each block has a main focus. So block one is focusing on fundamental movement patterns. Block two is we're taking those fundamentals that we learned and we're building that strength there. Block three is the most specific block in terms of exercise selection and we're bridging the gap into your golf. Right, I mean, that makes perfect sense to me, right? I'm, I'm in the first two blocks, I will be building my strength, becoming more athletic. Yes. And in the final block, at the end of the program, I'm actually gonna be learning how to translate that strength into something more functional on the golf course, therefore allowing me to hit the ball farther. Exactly why it's called bridging the gap. Right, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. My understanding is I'm going to be doing a workout today. Yes. Okay, and is that gonna be a block one fundamentals workout? So you'll be doing block one, day one. Day one, all right, what kind of things am I gonna be doing? So some jumps, some ballistic movements, plyometrics, squat, a hinge movement, and some accessories. Cool, sounds like I'm gonna get a bit of a sweat on. For sure. Well, I'm excited, I'm excited. I love working out and uh, I'm excited to see what it does. And then at the end, we're actually gonna be testing my club head speed. Yes. That's awesome. So this is like a benchmark 
And then as we go through the program, we're going to be documenting my club head speed. And for all of you guys watching, you'll get to see kind of how this progresses. Uh, I imagine it's going to get a lot faster. I'm really excited to see that. So we're starting off here, day one, workout one. I'm super excited. Jason, let's get going. Let's get it. <clears throat> oh, I'll warm you up don't you worry, I have to reach in for you. Uh, I know you have a stiff, or you told me you have a stiff. She's uh, thoracic? Yeah. You want to do the reach over? <clears throat> the better? Yeah. Okay. I need to warm up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll have you at the end of the field. So, uh, we're going to do a dynamic warm up. Okay. So using the field, I want you to take a step forward doing walking lunges okay. and twist. Knees all the way down. <clears throat> all right. Now I want to see walking world's greatest stretch. <clears throat> Good. All the way down. With one arm. There you go. Give me eight per side. The technique for plyometrics is the stiffness. You're gonna stiffen up once you touch the floor, and you're gonna relax when you're up in the air. Okay? You're touching the floor with your uh, with your forefoot. Good. Get on the floor like it's hot lava. Doesn't need to be too hot. Switch. There you go, let's go. Alright, catch your breath first. Let's catch your breath. Yeah, <laughs> no? That was just the start of it. <laughs> That's the warm up? Alright, Joe, what's your back squat max? Okay, so I think like five months ago, uh, I maxed out 165. So okay, 165 one. kilograms. What is that in pounds, by the way? 363. <laughs> Sounds like a lot to me. I think that's a lot. It is a yeah. lot. For the program, I have you around 60% to 64% uh, of, of one RM, okay. one rep max. Yeah. What is that? What is it? What so is... times, starting from 217. Yeah. But here's the thing, you're for your first rep, yeah. you're doing a three second pause at the bottom. Right, okay. And then you're going four reps. Okay of controlled descent, controlled eccentrics. Okay. And you're going to launch that bar up. Okay. For four reps. Yeah. And then your last rep will be the same as your first. So sounds three tough. seconds. That sounds tough. Yeah, for sure. Alright. Okay. So take your time with your warm-up. And then from there we're gonna gauge it. Okay. Does she feel comfortable? <clears throat> this is still like well within warm-up range for me. Yeah. But it is 60%, Joe, like, I'm actually serious. Well, take it so I wouldn't go straight into that. No, no, I know, but like, nice and controlled. And then from there, we'll move on to our... Like, I'm actually, like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm serious with my, like, I'm in full coaching mode right now. Okay, go 95. 95? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Joe is doing one rep of three count pause at the bottom for his squat, four reps of control, controlled descend, and he's exploding up, and then his last rep is another three count pause. This is what's called an ISO sandwich. Take your time. One, two, three. <coughs> control, 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 explode up. There you go. Let's go. Last one. Go. Ah. There you go. Easy. Yeah, I know it's sixty percent. Yeah. All right. Just because we're doing. Am I work. supposed to like be losing vision? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So he's gonna do snatch grip, Romanian deadlifts. Well, that works as the glutes, hamstrings, lower back. But I'm. Because he's in a snatch grip position, I want him to work on that upper back stiffness. Take your time. One, two, three. Come up. Straighten those knees. Now pause. One, two, three. Let's go. There you go. 
from here, we can use our arms into this too, right? Yeah. I want you to lean your torso back and then go forward. But the whole point here is I want your feet under your, under your hips. And from here, we're just going to produce force through a standstill position. And we're going to go. We're going to okay. okay. just walk off. I want you to push your toes off the floor. Okay. There you go. Easy work. There you go. Last one. There you go. Okay, let's do the trap. Let's move on to the trap bar. We do it cheap. Alright, dude. Uh, just give me a couple reps in terms of deadlift. Okay, just like five. Now I want you to jump with it. But here's the thing, when you, like, instead of land, when you land, don't catch the weight, just let it fall to the ground. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me five reps of that. Explode through the floor. Then you can go all the way down. That's it. So yeah, so you're gonna take a wider stance. Yeah. You're gonna pull back and get that counter movement in and lead with the hip and shoot through it. So it's kind of like a, it's like a granny hand. toss. It's not a push. No, it's a no, no, it's a granny hand. toss. Okay. <laughs> okay. Solid. Is that it? That is it We're for done. today. Yeah. Dude, I'm exhausted. I know, you look <laughs> exhausted. Yeah, dude, I'm calm, drenched. I feel, like it's weird, I, I'm a, it's a mix of feeling tired, mm -hmm. but I also feel like so stimulated. I think it's all the speed movements that we did. Mm -hmm. I just feel like my body has so much more power. I know that this is a process and it takes lo a long time, but like, wow, I've, I haven't felt this good after a workout in a long so time. Right? You did yeah. great. Yeah. All right, just for the benchmark, let's grab that swing speed. That's what we came here to do. Yeah, for right, sure. Let's, let's go. go. All right, you ready, Joe? Okay. How how hard am I swinging? Am I like going max out on this thing? As hard as you want. As hard as I want. Yeah. I imagine if I can this at this point. I, I imagine I want to try and maintain a golf swing. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not. I'm not. But like, honestly, just swing. Okay. Just swing as hard as you can. Okay. Let's go eight with the driver and eight with the six iron. Okay. Grab your six iron. Last one. Rest. That's it. That's it for the day. Whew. Good job. It's all work. Well, that's good. Oh, Jojo, go. Not ready for now, Joe. <laughs>